shoulders back, chest out, good form. Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today we are continuing our playlist with individual body part workouts. So same format as usual. Three minutes of warm up, eight exercises, two minutes of core, all on 30 seconds rest. We are working on the shoulders today. So we're gonna start with warming up the shoulders. But you lay, lay, lay down on the ground. Come on, Paul, you can speak. Arms ahead of you. And we're doing this for one minute. Face down and just raise your arms up and down. Up, down, nice and easy. Face down, and the only reason I'm not putting my face down is because the microphone is gonna get in the way. Normally I would do it this way. Up and push, stretch all the way up and all the way down. All the way up and all the way down. This is very tough for a minute. It's a great rehab shoulder exercise if you're older like me and you need this kind of type of workout. This is a great, great shoulder exercise. I usually something, well, I usually don't do this for a minute, but when I do do this, I use like very light, two or three pound weights, up, down. Pull up and down. Up with a little pause and down. And down. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, 30 seconds of resting. For the next exercise, I'm just going to use a five pound weight. And we're just going to sit, stay on the ground. Put that elbow up on your knee and we're just going to rotate it up and down. Let me get a little closer to the camera so you can see me a little bit better. There we go. And we're going to do this for a minute on each side. Like I said, I'm just using five pounders. This is just warming the shoulders up. Three, two, one, let's go. One, keep that weight under control at all times. Rotate it out and back up. This is a great shoulder strengthening and mobility exercise. Light weights because we are doing it for a minute. About 25 seconds left. Keep it up, guys. Then we'll progress to our eight shoulder exercises. This is once again, great beginner workout. You get to discover maybe a lot of new exercises, hopefully doing a proper form, and you can build your own program going on, from, moving on from here. Five seconds, three, two, one, last one. 30 seconds off, shake the shoulder out, and we're gonna move on to the other side. Same exercise, and then our warm up will be complete. And then we'll actually move on to our shoulder workouts and remember the workouts are going to be structured in the same way as the two other workouts are in the playlist that I'm going to post after this video also I'll leave it in the description um, 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off that's what we're going to be doing so we're here we get started in three two one and let's go one and two control the weight two don't just let it drop control all the way down It's almost a rehab exercise. So if you have any kind of shoulder pain, you want to strengthen the rotator cuff, this is a great exercise to do it with. I recommend this, if you do have pain, you can do this every other day for about 30 seconds on each side. It will go a long way towards getting those shoulders repaired. And this is just like any other exercise. You don't have to be afraid you can push this a little bit, make it difficult. Because like five pounds builds up pretty quickly, for me at least, on this exercise. Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I gotta put this away and we're moving on to our main set. So the first exercise is the lateral, lateral raise, yes. Lateral raise, so it's gonna be 30 seconds on. Chest up, arms down, and it's gonna raise and down. Always in control. So for this, I'm just gonna use my 12, 15 pounders, whatever these are. 
you use whatever it is, make it difficult. I don't want you swinging back and forth. I want you to keep everything under control. You guys ready? Up, down. Chest out. Don't hunch forward. Make it a shoulder exercise, not a trap exercise. So I don't want you doing this and bringing that neck down. I want you just up and down. Keep it up. Nice and stable. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and that's it. From here, we're moving on to the shoulder press. The seated shoulder press in my instance, I'm gonna sit down on the floor because once again, I am limited by the ceiling height in here. So I'm gonna do it seated. If you guys have a chair or a bench, sit down on the bench. We get started in 10 seconds. The preview should be up right now. I'm gonna try not to lose my balance and weights up and we're gonna press. Up. See if you can drop that weight all the, way, all the way down to your shoulder and then all the way up, shoulders back. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and the weight's down. All right, got another 30 second break. And here we're gonna hit the front of the shoulders. So we're going to do front raises to work on this part of the shoulder right here. And once again, lighter weight. We're gonna do it simultaneously. I am going to do it simultaneously. If you would like to do individual ones, feel free to do that. Once again, shoulders back, chest out, good form. You're going five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go up, down, up, and down. Work it with me. And back now. Three seconds. Two, one, and weight's done. All right, back on the ground, and now we're going for the Arnold press. So it's a variation of the shoulder press, but you're gonna twist your arm out as you go up. So if you're doing on a chair, feel free to sit down on the chair. If you're doing on the floor, hope you're down on the floor with me. Once again, 30 seconds, let me get a little closer so you guys can see me better. I wanna cross my legs, hopefully not fall backwards. Gonna grab the weights this way and just out and back down. Ready? And let's go. Out and twist up. There you go. So I grabbed what are pretty heavy weights for me because I like to be challenged on these exercises. Just because we're doing 30 seconds, I don't want you to just be throwing the weights up and down. I want you to work. Three, two, one, I'm gonna call it right here. All right, same weight. Reverse fly on this one. So try to keep your back as you bend down as straight as possible. Lock everything in right here. Butts out, bend over, relax your arms, and we're gonna just do a reverse fly motion, all right? Keep that back and those shoulders back and down and just do a reverse fly. All right, we'll get started in five seconds. Let me grab my weight and we'll get moving from here. So three, two, one, out, and do the best that you can. I'm doing the best that I can to keep my back straight. I know it might not look like it, but I'm trying. Squeeze, halfway down with the interval. Fight the weight on the way down. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and weights down. Whew. All right, we did a reverse fly. Now we're gonna use our bend and do a face pull. So on this, as you pull back, I want you to pause in the back position and really feel back on the shoulders, and then slowly let go of the bend. 
So pull, imagine pull, just pull your elbows back as you go back. All right, so stand good distance away. This is unfortunately the only place I get to tie this off. Arms up, back, pause, and forward. Pause a little, and forward. Towards your face, and back down. Squeeze, and back. 15 seconds left, and back. Nice job. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, you gotta prep for the next exercise. And we're gonna do more lateral raises. But this time, we're gonna tie this off on the bottom. This is the only place I get to tie it off on. And the benefit of doing the bend as you're doing this raise is that if I'm doing it from here, I get tension right away on that side delt. With a dumbbell, you don't have any tension right here. With a bend, you get tension right away. So stand, you should start with tension on your band and go up and down. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna stand right here because I gotta hold on to this weight. But you should stand away. So here you should have tension right away in this band. I am, for this video, I don't. Because like I said, I have no place to tie this off. But you should have tension at the bottom portion. And then do a side raise. So stand just a little farther away. See right here, there's tension. Except for me, I'm gonna pull this weight and it's gonna move. So now we're just gonna do the other side and that's gonna be the last of the shoulder exercises. And you should have a pretty good idea if you're, what they could be and how they work. We work the shoulder all the way around. So if you are scheduling your own workouts, you could say, hey, I like these lateral raises. You could try them out. You could try the reverse flies. You could try the face pulls, find what works for you and just make sure you hit the shoulder head in all of three sides. Here we go, three, two, one, up, down, up, down. Don't be afraid to go high up, down, down. Yeah, step on this, there we go. Keep it up. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we are done with the shoulder portion of this exercise. And it's like the rest of the series, now we are gonna move on to core. Let me get out of this out of the way. And we are doing two core exercises and they're both gonna be mountain climber variations. So get down on the ground, make some room. If you gotta make some room. First mountain climber, nice and easy. No, no rush through any of this. Under control, you're gonna bring the knee to the outside of your body. You guys ready to go in five, four, three, two, plank, and let's go outside and back. Outside, back. Looking good. Keep it up. Good job, good job. Keep it here, keep it here, keep going. 30 seconds left. Knee to the outside. Lock those elbows in. Keep that core tight. Got 15 seconds left, keep it right here. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, one set left. Mountain climber, the opposite exercise. You're gonna take the knee, bring it underneath yourself, across your body, towards your opposite elbow. So shake those elbows out, shake those arms out. Shoulders, they're hurting because you have to hold yourself up. Part of the whole process here. They got tired doing the exercises. Now we're gonna finish them off basically by being in a plank position. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and across, boom, across. There you go. One minute, we got this, you got this, I got this, let's go.
40 seconds left. One third of a way down, we got it, come on. Hold it right here, halfway. Fight it. Fifteen seconds left. We got a few more in us. Let's go. Three, two, one, and we are done. And that completes our workout, guys. Today is, like I said, another workout part of our series. Today we worked on shoulders. We have already done legs. We done biceps and triceps, and maybe we'll break the legs down to more more parts during next workout. I'm not sure yet. But next, we'll probably hit the back, then maybe we'll have one that's just cardio. Once again, thank you for joining me today for the Fit After 50. I hope you guys enjoy working out with me. I will come back for more workouts. I have over 450 workouts on this channel, and they do come out every Monday and every Thursday. So once again, thanks for joining me. My name is Paul, and I'll see you guys in the next workout.